There are so many niacinamide products on the market today, most of them targeted towards people with oily skin. These products range from just a sprinkle of niacinamide to a low percent of niacinamide to 10%, which is the most common, and the highest is about 20%. Today, we're talking about the Ordinary's 10% niacinamide and zinc serum. This is a no frills product. But does its simplicity work in its favor or is it missing something? Let's dive into whether this product is right for you. According to The Ordinary's website, this product boosts radiance, reduces pores, and brightens. Let's break down niacinamide and see if it's good for oily skin. Niacinamide is a jack-of-all-trades type of ingredient. It does a little bit of everything. It can strengthen your skin barrier, which is good if you tend to have sensitive skin. It builds collagen, which is good for wrinkles. But most niacinamide serums are focused on the oil reduction. The serum from The Ordinary contains 10% niacinamide, which is a solid concentration for decreased oil production, but it's gonna be a bit too much if you tend to have really dry or really sensitive skin. The ingredients are very straightforward. It's just niacinamide, zinc, which reduces inflammation and it kills bacteria, so it's good if you have active acne, and a few other ingredients to moisturize and stabilize the formula. In comparison, other niacinamide serums on the market have so many additional ingredients, as you can see here. So let's go over the claims of this product. Can niacinamide really minimize pores? And yes, it can. When we have large pores, it's usually from an overactive oil gland. The oil gland lives beneath the surface of the skin and it dumps oil into your hair follicles and then the oil flows onto the surface of the skin. If you make too much oil, your oil glands can physically overgrow and make little bumps surrounding each hair follicle. That's the texture that people are referring to. Niacinamide decreases oil production and shrinks the actual gland itself, smoothing over the skin. And claim number two, Niacinamide is often advertised as a brightening ingredient, that it can get rid of dark spots. It can do that, but it's a little complicated, so let's get into it. There are four basic steps to make pigment. The first step is that the melanocyte, the cell that makes our pigment, it needs nutrients, it needs growth factors, and it needs signals from the blood supply in order to function. In step number two, there's a special enzyme that helps the melanocyte to create pigment. The third step involves the transportation of the pigment to the very, very top of the skin. And finally, the fourth step, the pigment is shed as the dead skin cells naturally fall off. Niacinamide stops the third step. It stops that highway network, so the pigment is stuck at the bottom of the epidermis. This is not the best step to disrupt. There are far better brightening ingredients, and ingredients that inhibit multiple steps. For example, retinol stops three of the four steps. So yes, niacinamide can brighten, but there are better options if you need a lightening ingredient specifically. So how should you use this product in your routine? You can apply a few drops in the morning and night. And as far as the order of applying, serums always go after cleansing. So you get your skin nice and clean. And after you cleanse, you apply any active ingredients, meaning ingredients that you want to go into the skin and you want them to do something and to change the skin. After that, moisturizer on top to lock it in. And if it's the morning, put sunscreen on top of that. So is the Ordinary's Niacinamide and Zinc Serum a yay or a nay? It's a yay for me. It's great if you have oily or combo skin. If you have large pores, it will do a good job of decreasing that and the zinc reduces acne. Having said that, if you're not that oily, the 10% niacinamide might be too much for you. The brightening is just okay, but that's because of the niacinamide itself. So what niacinamide serums have you tried? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this review helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more dermatology lessons. And thanks for watching.